Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of The Suited Shootist. As promised, I'm going to be talking about the uh, different ankle kits that I was playing with today. And so before I jump into that real quick, just kind of a quick outfit overview. We are having a nice little cold snap here in Texas. And as such, I'm breaking out some of the cool weather fabrics. So today it's a, a Burberry tweed with kind of a purple in the Glen Sheck. And I decided to pair that with one of my lavender shirts and a nice little corresponding pocket square. So jumping into it, when we're talking about the ankle kits, uh, there were four of them that I was kind of playing and experimenting with. Now, I want to say right up front, there are going to be two notable absences to this, one of which is the Wilderness Tactical Kit, and the other is the ankle kit that is sold by Warrior Poet Society. There's two very good reasons for that. First is going to be the fact that uh, I'm funding this out of my own pocket, so I got to draw the line somewhere. Uh, if you want to support the channel and you want to see more gear reviews, I do have a link to the Patreon down below, and that's always appreciated. My patrons are awesome. And the other reason was with both of these, but specifically with the Warrior Poet one, the way it is marketed, um, it looks pretty beefy to me. And given that my whole thing is I'm trying to balance my tool set with my wardrobe, um, it just looked a little too substantial for me to want to uh, go to that expense and kind of roll the dice to find out for sure. I could be wrong, so uh, the fact that I'm not talking about them is not an indictment of the product, but uh, like I said, I had to draw the line somewhere. So talking about the four that I did try, we've got two different categories. We've got the below $50 mark and the above $50 mark. And so when we're talking about that, starting with the, uh, the sub $50 options, let's kind of look at where this all started, which was the Atlas ankle IFAC. And um, I mean, honestly, solid. Um, and there's not really anything bad that I have to say about it. It's, uh, it's just one stretchy band of elastic that's got the pockets stitched into it and the Velcro stitched to the face of it. You got three closed bottomed and one open-ended pouch for the large one, it's got uh, a little retaining band there just so that, that way you're not relying exclusively on the tension of the elastic. And uh, yeah, I mean, this one worked out just fine uh, to the point where I felt it was worth exploring. Like this was my proof of concept, basically. Uh, and so if you're looking at one to start with, this isn't a bad way to go. I will say that uh, the other sub $50 option, I think there are a couple of market improvements, and that would be the ankle kit from Filster. Now, the major improvements on this one are the fact that, uh, as you can see, three of the pockets have retention on them. It's Velcro, not elastic retention. Uh, and the other big one is on the uh, skin facing side of it. There's a little bit of padding that uh, also gives you a little bit more traction, which I'm kind of a fan of. Uh, because for me personally, because of how I wear my pants, I tend to wear the ankle kit higher up so that it's the bottom of it is not just sitting uh, on top of my shoe. Uh, I want it to be invisible even when I sit down. Um, the only real drawback or the only real struggle I had with this one is because of the retaining straps, I had to fold my tourniquet to sit shorter in the pouch, which made it thicker. And um, obviously that made it a little bit bulkier. So that's kind of my, my only beef, but uh, the, the Filster I think is, especially given that it's virtually the same price as the Atlas, is a decided improvement on that same design. Full disclosure, I'm friends with John and Sarah. I did pay full ride on this. It's not sponsored or anything, but uh, they are friends. So, you know, imply whatever bias you think uh, is there. Moving to the $50 or more options, the first one that we're going to look at is also from a friend of the channel, and that's Carrie Davis at Dark Angel Medical. Like the Filster it's, uh, and the Atlas, it's just a stretchy band of elastic, and like the Filster, three of the four pockets have these nice little retention straps on them. Uh, the other nice little design feature on this one is they actually extend a sweat guard for the tourniquet as well, which I think is a nice touch. Um, now, this band is a little narrower 
than either the Filster or the Atlas. So that does require that you cinch it down a little bit tighter. Um, and honestly, given the features of it, it's a little bit tough to swallow since functionally there's nothing majorly different between the other two and this one. And this is about 20 bucks more. So, eh, you know, it's one of those, if you want to support Kerry and Dark Angel, and you should, because he's a solid dude, it's a solid company, absolutely this is worth buying. It will serve you well. Um, you're going to pay a little bit of a premium for that. And then lastly, which is embarrassingly the one that I can't put my hands on at the moment, is the Frog Pro ankle kit that was introduced to me by uh, Caleb Causey at Lone Star Medics. Now, what I really like about this one is the fact that, again, there is some traction uh, kind of grippy material that's sewn to the inside of the cuff and the inside of the pouches as well. So it is going to retain whatever gear you put in there exceptionally well. There's also a little bit of this laser cut kind of molly panel on the outside. So if you do want to run like a rescue hook or, or some of the kind of uh, uh, cutter, then that would be a good option for it. It's also a slightly thicker band like the, uh, like the Atlas is. And so it's comfortable to wear all day and it stays put. So that one, uh, ironically enough, despite the fact that I can't find it at the moment, is actually my favorite way to run an ankle kit. Although, like I talked about in last week's video, I generally am just running it in a pocket um, these days. But uh, for ankle kits, the Frog Pro is definitely my number one. Filster is a very close second, and especially given that uh, it's notably less expensive, it's definitely a plus for some people. And then the, uh, the Atlas and the uh, Dark Angel kind of round out the bottom of the list. But like I said, you really can't go wrong with any one of these four. So if you carry medical on an ankle, I want to hear about it down below. What, uh, what carrier are you using and what do you pack the kit with? If you carry your medical some other way, I want to hear about that too. And so aside from that, that's all I got right now. So I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Stay dangerous and stay sharp.